Hello, this is Tegram Fusey, and welcome back to Wayne Review on V Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tim and T and Sophia Jimbo when we're issue number two. And uh, yeah, this issue was pretty interesting for the most part, and I'll say that this issue did a really great job of handling the action as I was setting things up for the next issue. And overall, it was a really great issue, just like one of those issues that are like in between like stories, if that makes sense. And it did a really good job of that. And I do think that overall, this issue was really great. But I do think that some parts of it were pretty weak when you do look at other parts of this comic. And I do think that going forward with this one, it's going to be really interesting to see how they handle the story. So, yeah. Now, first off, with the turtles fighting Yuichi and Jatsu, and I must admit, I did really enjoy this battle. I did really enjoy the interactions between uh, like the two characters, and I thought that, like they were like really interesting and stuff like that, and stuff which I'll definitely have to see a lot more of. And I would say that with the confusion that these turtles didn't know who these characters were, it was also pretty interesting trying to see like them trying to like more or less make peace straight away. So I do find that really interesting, and it's just overall a really great battle. And I must admit, like with Santa Kai's artwork here, probably being at his best so far, just it looks amazing with just how it was drawn. And again, just like with all the other past interactions between the turtles and Sogi, whenever they first meet, they always get a battle. And I must admit, this one was really great. And yeah, I must admit, this really just like give me a lot of hope for just seeing like the potential Santa Kai does have with the turtles drawing them, fighting other Yusogi Dimbo characters. And yeah, I just see like a lot of potential there. Now during this battle, we do get the revelation that basically these turtles are the RDW turtles. Now I must admit, overall, I do think that's great because we do have a connection with these characters. But at the same time, I can't stop thinking about the continuity, the timeline for these turtles. Just because with the last lot of comics about the turtles and Sugi, which was the Namzu one, which came out in 2017. That one was pretty cool and really great, and it's actually fit inside of the timeline within the IW stuff. But with this one, I don't really know how I feel about it, just because on one hand it is great that we are getting a connection with these characters, but also on the other hand, I'm sort of wondering where this will take place in the timeline, just because when we do get to see the Tales first in the first issue, we didn't really get to see anything to do with Mutant Town or anything like that, the Tales didn't have their clothes, there's no Jenica, so I do, so I am wondering a lot of stuff about this in terms of the timeline when it's take place and all that, and stuff like that, so it's interesting for a variety of different reasons, and I do like it because we do have connection with these characters, but also at the same time, it sort of just feels though that they're sort of ruining the, ch the timeline and stuff like that, but overall, pretty decent. Now after that, we do get to see that the turtles do meet up with Sogi and Jimbo, and that's when they do go back to the village, and there's this doctor trying to tap on Mikey, trying to learn about Mikey and stuff like that. And I must admit, overall, here with this little bit here, I did really enjoy this bit just because again we've seen a lot more interactions between different characters, which again I really did enjoy. And I can't really say much more than that, it was just really great just for seeing the interactions, which was just great overall. So then going into the next scene, we do get to see Lord Yuki basically meeting the Toys for the first time. And I feel as though that they have met before, but then again, I can't remember, but I feel as though I'm remembering the stuff from the 2003 show. So, yeah. Now, during this scene, we do get to see Lord Yuki basically says that basically he's refusing the help to help, like, basically help the turtles. But, however, he is going to help them in terms of any resources that they need. And, yeah, that's it for that scene, really. Now, I must admit, overall, I don't really, really think too much of this scene too much, but I do think that with the way that they're writing the stuff for Yusuke Jimbo characters and stuff like that, while I do think it's really great that they are sticking to a story about defeating uh, Wonder Lord, I do think that it's sort of like hindering the like, like the help which Yusuke is about able to give the turtles and is able to interact with the turtles, as opposed to that Lord Yuki is basically, like, I don't know, like hindering the interactions that basically could have had between the characters. Which I do think is really disappointing because I do think there's like a lot of potential that this whole crossover could have. But I do think that the Sogi Jimbo story arc or storyline they're having in this series is somewhat affecting the story overall. But I do think that, but I don't know, I mean on the one hand, I do hate it because of that, but also on one hand, I do somewhat like it because they are sticking to a story and it is working for the most part. 
Now one thing this does, we do get to see when we're basically making up a plan to go after the turtles in Yusugi and he wants to conquer them all and stuff like that and that's when he's getting the help from the mole ninjas I can't exactly remember what they're called, I think they're called the Mojo ninjas which are pretty decent I would say they must meet with this team up, it has someone got me really excited to see what we could do, but also at the same time, seeing that in the next issue, they will be going straight away into that battle between the Turtles, Sagi vs the Mojo Ninja. I just can't help but think that maybe these two characters could have been really interesting to see, like teaming up and taking on these characters, but it's a shame they won't really get to see too much of that. And then also like another thing is that with the when Where character, I feel as though that he's like really interesting for the most part and does have potential to be a really interesting character to take on these characters and stuff like that. But at the same time, I feel as though they would be like a bit more cool to see him like team up with another turtle character or maybe another Yusuke Jimbo character. So I do feel so that like maybe there's a little bit of like problem there, but other than that, he's somewhat interesting. After that, we do get to see the turtles having a feast with the Yusuke Jimbo characters. But that then is actually interrupted by the Mojo Ninja, and yeah, it's interesting. Now, I can't really say too much right now, just because this whole thing will be happening in the next issue, and I must admit, it has really got me excited to see what I'll be doing with this whole fight scene, as I do feel as though that's going to be really interesting and really fun to see. And when we do get to see in the first... Uh, no, was it the first crossover? No, it wasn't. It was the crossover with the 2003 Turtles, but we do get to see Leonardo take on these more characters. And must admit, like, back then, it was really fun and really great to see. So, I'm really interested to see how the other turtles are going to be interacting with these mole ninjas, how they're going to be fighting with them. I feel so felt like there's a lot of potential here to tell a really fun story, a really great, a great fight scene, and stuff like that. So, really interested to see what I do do the next issue and stuff like that. Now, I must admit, overall, this whole issue has been really fun. And like I was saying at the beginning of this issue, it's not really a bad issue, it was just one of those issues that felt so that it was like an in-between issue, where it's basically like, more or less concluding things that happened in the last issue, and then more or less setting things up for the next issue, while was also having like fun interactions in between, and while I wouldn't really say that it's like really a bad issue, I would say that it's actually a pretty good issue for doing the story stuff, but at the same time, it's somewhat hard to really say that it did really great for a story, because it wasn't really doing too much for a story, if you know what I mean, hopefully that makes sense and I'm not just rambling on for no 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 no. But yeah, I must admit overall, it's still a really great issue. The artwork was really amazing and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about this issue. Did you like it? Did you not? And stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today guys. If you do something, please share, like, subscribe and all that stuff. Goodbye, yo. Bye.